At times you may have to do a 3D grid of, of the area that you're scanning. The reason being is that you may have come to a site, done some 2D, 2D scanning here, and saw that the area that you're trying to scan is just too complex to interpret or see what's going on underneath, and you need a little bit more confidence. Sometimes you want to do 3D as well as if the customer may want some uh, documentation, and 3D can provide some nice looking documentation. So those are a couple reasons that you might want to use a 3D grid uh, in the area that you're scanning here. Okay? So first thing after turning on the uh, mini, you want to go ahead and uh, change this into 3D mode here, as, as indicated right on your screen here. Okay, and after you've done that, then what I want to do is just simply start uh, getting ready to collect. So by pressing the left arrow in the collect mode here, and then, uh, and then I'm going to note the name of the grid and the name of the project so that if I go back to the office and I want to go ahead and document this, I know what grid I had just collected. So I have collect highlighted and I press the enter key and you can see that the grid now appears on my screen. So two by two grid that I've already taped down and getting ready to scan this area here. Probably the most important thing I can tell you about here is that when you start scanning and getting into this grid mode here, is to look at the bottom of the screen. The bottom of the screen gives you some important information about what options are available and which arrows to press for those options. Uh, we have start and exit and next previous and so on. Okay, so first thing I do here is that I usually start with line one. That's the easiest. I go in order of the, of the lines here. That's not necessary. The reason being is that you have the option to change which line you are scanning just by simply pressing the left and right arrow keys and letting you know which lines that the mini is expecting for you to scan. So I do this by lining up this front laser with line one here and bringing the laser forward and making certain that these side lasers match up with the start line here. So after having the lasers lined up, as it says at the bottom of the screen here, up arrow says start. So by pressing the up arrow key here, once the mini is lined up, then I just press that and then I can just start collecting. Once it beeps, I can lift up the mini and go to the next line here. The first beep is when you can do that. The second beep just says it's done processing the data. The first beep simply means that it's done with the two feet. So I repeat the process, click on the up arrow, and do line two. And line three. And so on. Press the up arrow to start. And continue on. Also note that once you press this up arrow, the options at the bottom of the screens can change here. So for example, if there was a reference point that you wanted to reference on your data, the up arrow now represents mark. This will place a mark in your data so that you can reference it later. And then you can just continue collecting the two feet here. If you ever get lost, it's a good idea to check out what line number at the top of the screen, line five. So I want to line myself with line five and continue on. Up arrow to start and continue. If I messed up line five, I could redo line five just by pressing the previous or next arrows here. So I can do previous arrow. That'll say line five. And then I can again line myself up with line five and redo line five if I felt I messed up line five. It'll automatically go to the next line, which is line six. And I just continue this process. At times, when you do a grid, there may be obstacles in the way here, some kind of obstacle, a column or something, that you can't give the full two feet. Again, the mini is expecting two feet. So when I start collecting, and let's say there was an obstacle here, on the bottom of the screen it says here that I could just say stop by holding the down arrow button for two seconds. And you hear that? I can stop short in case there are obstacles here and continue on with line eight. Since I didn't have an obstacle in this example, I'm just going to redo line 7 here and give the mini the full two feet and line 8 and so on. As you can see, once you get into the rhythm, and again, every once in a while check out that you're doing the correct line number. 
it's actually a fairly quick process. Take your time doing this thing. The reason being is that if you go too fast, the mini will alarm you that you go too fast. So you just want to go nice, good, easy pace. Make sure you collect the data correctly the first time. In this next line, I'm going to give an example of trying to go too fast, just to let you know. I'm going to do line 12, start. That's the alarm, the beep that you heard there. So I'm going to press the previous button and redo line 12. And then I go to the other side of the grid and continue on with line 14 and finish the grid. Once again, if I get into a rhythm, it's actually a very fast process. As a reminder, before I click the start button, I have certain options. And then once I click the start button, I have different options at the bottom of the screen. Up arrow to mark, or when I have an obstacle, down arrow to stop scanning at that point. Line 17. Eighteen. And again, if you get lost of what line number you're on, just take a look at the top of the screen. It's expecting line 21. So I line myself up with line 21 and continue. Then I finish up with line 26. And once I am done at the bottom of the screen, one of the options that you see here will be the exit. And I have to hold that button down for two seconds as it does say that on the screen. Then what I will get is an option to either cancel the collection. I don't want to process it or anything, just delete it and so on. Or I can press the up arrow uh, to say, okay, Mini, go ahead and save it and process it. So it will take about 30 seconds or so for it to process, and then what you'll end up getting is the x-ray-like image on the screen. Once the image appears onto the screen, uh, there's going to be options, again, at the bottom of your screen. These options will help you map out this x-ray-like image uh, onto the floor, onto the slab that you're scanning here.